So apparently there is a compact disc revival just around the corner. Today I want to talk about what that means and what it does not mean. <laughs> So first of all, and this is pretty obvious, but we are going to see the price of CDs go up. As a matter of fact, we are seeing this already. If you go back, if you rewind like five years ago, people were dumping their collections. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you could buy CDs for pennies on the dollar. People were, were, were dumping off entire collections at the thrift stores. People were garage selling collections. People were just giving this stuff away. We are not seeing as much of that anymore. And in fact, we are seeing the price of used CDs slowly creeping up. Same thing goes with brand new CDs, right? Like brand new compact discs are still significantly cheaper than brand new records. The price of brand new records has been creeping up and so has the price of brand new CDs. I look at Amazon once in a while just to see what the new releases are coming out. And I've seen this. And take a look for yourself where the price of these new releases is going up. Are, are, are compact discs unaffordable? Not at all, but they are getting more expensive as demand increases. Related to that, we are also going to see the price of used CD players increase, right? It only makes sense. It's simple economics, economics 101. Luckily, right now, if you go to at least around here, any thrift store, you can still find a semi-decent compact disc player for like 15 or 20 bucks, something like that. But I really don't think that is going to last. So if CDs are something you want to get back into, you're going to need something to play them on. If you're in the market to buy a used CD player, now is the time to pick it up. I also think as the CD revival or the CD resurgence takes hold that we are going to see more interesting packaging with compact discs. I observed this with the vinyl revival. When records first came back, the packaging was very simple. It was typical to have no inserts, to have no lyric sheets, to have the record on a plain white insert. And as there's been more interest in vinyl, the packaging has gotten more interesting. Now it's standard to have an insert, to have a lyric sheet, to have custom labels that sort of stuff. I mean, it's nowhere near the way it was in the late 70s where there was some really creative packaging and wasn't uncommon to get that kind of stuff. I just said it's happening more, but, but it's not quite the way it was. And same thing with CDs, right? I mean, CDs typically come uh, in a jewel case or a digipack and there's often a lyric sheet in there, but I think we're gonna see more stuff like, like ACDC with their last release, right? They had some really cool custom packaging. Same with Tool, as there's more interest in the compact disc, people are gonna have these limited edition, um, this limited edition packaging, limited edition box sets, whatever it takes. And then I think we'll have a choice, right? You can still buy the plain Jane compact disc or you can go for the deluxe fantasy packaging if you choose. It's another way to kind of lure the customer in with this medium. A CD resurgence also means we are gonna see more stores get in on the CD game, right? Like if you remember years ago, you go to your Walmart, you go to your Best Buy, you would see aisles and aisles and aisles of CDs. I'm not saying we're ever gonna get back to that again, but nowadays, if you go to your local Walmart or Best Buy, they have virtually no compact discs, at least around here. And if they do, just the latest, biggest hits, right? The CD sections have basically completely disappeared as demand. It only makes sense, right? Those stores, they all got rid of vinyl decades ago, and now they're starting to sell it again. The same thing's going to happen with compact discs to an extent. And more importantly, I think a lot of the independent and the mom and pop shops are going to begin to sell compact discs again. I'm not sure what it's like in your neck of the woods, but here, most of the, the indie stores, they have either no CDs or a very minimal CD section. Expect that to change in the next one to three years. I think in the coming years too, we can expect to see more cheap new CD players on the market as demand for these, for CDs increases, right? You need something to play them on. And as more young people consider getting into collecting CDs, they are gonna be looking for modestly priced players to play them on. We saw this with, with records, right? When, when the vinyl revival came and took hold, we saw 
a ton of these cheap all-in-one record players produced and i know a lot of people hate those i'm not gonna get into that i think they serve their purpose their purpose being they can give people a taste of what records are like we're gonna see the same thing with cd players as a matter of fact if you go on amazon you can start to see this already there are a lot of uh cd players in the 50 dollars or less category obviously designed to appeal to young people um, through the design and looks and the kind of the cool factor like CD players you hang on the wall and clear CD players thanks to the mechanism and, and the discs turn. Those are already out there and I think we're going to see a lot more of that because if, if this resurgence is going to work, you need young people to get into this, right? And that's the kind of stuff a lot of young people, I think, would be into. Now let me tell you what the CD resurgence does not mean. And I've allu I alluded to this earlier, but a CD resurgence does not mean that CDs will ever, will ever become mainstream again, right? The vast, the vast majority of people have moved on from physical media. Most people stream their music. Most people stream their movies. Most people, I'm not talking about you and I, I'm talking about most people, Stop buying DVDs, stop buying Blu-rays, stop buying CDs, stop buying records, stop buying tapes, all of that stuff years ago. So CDs are now a niche market and I think they're gonna remain that way, right? Like a resurgence means that sales are gonna increase. It means more people are getting into it, but most people, as I said, have moved on. You're not gonna see CD players in, in your vehicles again. They're not gonna appear on, you're not gonna have a CD player in every living room and every household across North America. Society has moved on. So I just wanna make that clear. I mean, in my view, a CD resurgence does not mean that this, this medium will ever be mainstream again. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's not a problem. As long as I can acquire CDs or records, I am perfectly happy. All right, 33 is what do you think? A CD resurgence, what does it mean? And what does it not mean? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll be back again next weekend. Until then, keep on spinning.